everyone, it's Alyssa with Discover the Horse, and today I've got five breeds for you that you've probably never heard of. First up is the Camarillo White Horse. The breed originated in Southern California, and the horses are a part of a century-long family tradition where they have been used as flashy parade and performance horses. They carry a specific gene mutation that prevents the coat from expressing color, leaving them with their stunningly white look that seems to closely resemble the appearance of a unicorn. With less than 30 Camarillo white horses worldwide, they are just about as rare. Number two is the Georgian Grande. In the 1970s, saddlebreds were crossed with drafts and frisians in order to recreate the old saddlebred type, a horse with graceful elegance, big bone, and a gentle mind. The registry was started in 1994, and they can now be found at horse shows, in medieval reenactments, and even as police horses. Our third breed is the Nakoda. In the 1950s, when horses were accidentally fenced into the Theodore Roosevelt National Park, a piece of living history was enclosed within. The breed is thought to trace back to Sitting Bull's war ponies. Harsh winters, hot summers, and rough landscapes in North Dakota made these already tough horses even more durable. In the 1980s, two brothers saved the breed by purchasing horses from the National Park in order to prevent them from slaughter. Today, the population of Nakota horses is less than a thousand. Breed number four is the Blazer. The breed started in 1967. All Blazer horses trace back to one founding sire, Little Blaze. He was a combination of Quarter Horse, Thoroughbred, Morgan, and Shetland. The foundation stock was hand-picked based on confirmation and disposition. They are a small and hardy breed that loves to work with their rider, and it is commonly said that they adopt their people. And our fifth breed is the Nez Perce Horse. The Nez Perce tribe is known for breeding the Appaloosa, now one of the most popular breeds in the U.S. But what isn't commonly known is the more recent chapter of their equestrian story. In the 1990s, four Akaltecki stallions were donated to the tribe, and they were crossed with the Appaloosas. The new breed was named the Nez Perce Horse, a breed that would honor the tribe's history and build new possibilities for the future. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. If you want to learn more about any of those breeds that you saw in this video, you can check out their individual breed videos and make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can follow along on the journey. I'll see you next time.